Okay, I think I'll give the final installment on the lean test. Uh, I asked myself a question standing straight up, and if I lean forward, that means yes. If I lean, I lean back, it means no. I said no on this motorcycle I bought anyway. Uh, looks like it's going to be a, well, I definitely should not have bought it. Now, God, we'll have to intervene. Man, is it blowing hard. It's almost moving me. 67 degrees, but that wind is making it a little nippy. I did not wear a coat. Anyway, so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing. In this case, I believe the lean test was accurate. I should not, not, not have bought that motorcycle. Oh, it's just ripping my guts out. And then, I buy that $600 motorcycle. I get all excited about that and tell everybody what a great deal I got. Now it's, the repairs on it are up to like $1,200. And it's still fucked up. So, I probably fucked that up by talking about it. You gotta keep your, you gotta keep your mouth shut. As hard as it is, as hard as it is, you got to keep your mouth shut. And boy, the worst thing you can do is say you got something good or the food's going to be good. or Because you'll, by God, get the opposite of that. Sure is the freaking world. And right now, I'm going to claim in Jesus' name any words or thoughts that I might have said or thought that might cause me or my negativity are now removed. And <coughs> any negative ripples in the fabric of life, those words or thoughts that started are now pressed flat. By the blood of Jesus, it is mine. Cancel, cancel, cancel. That's how I delete things I've said or thought. You can do that. You can do that. Anyway. Nothing happening. Mr. T indictment, that's all. That's all planned out by the good guys. This much I know. Stir up something. I don't know what they're going to do. They're just trying to wake people up. Because people are so comatose from the food and from the TV set. Hypnotizing them. Watching TV programs. Television. Program. You're being programmed. If you have a TV, turn it off. If they start to go to the emergency broadcast system, <clears throat> if you got a TV that has some rabbit ears or an antenna <clears throat> of some kind, that may be the only place you can get info on if, if it goes to the emergency broadcast, which everybody keeps talking about. <clears throat> They'll shut everything down. <clears throat> Since you can't get truth to the media anymore, they'll shut everything down. <clears throat> you'll have to go through the e emergency broadcasting system which I sh it should come to your cell phone they, that's their way of bypassing the system man oh man is it windy wow I don't even know if you're hearing me who cares what's the scene anyway nothing new to report everybody's just waiting 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 waiting, waiting, waiting. Everybody says it's coming. Win, win, win. Don't, don't know. Had an interesting uh, thing. Somebody got the idea, some kind of psychically or whatever, that they're one of the truth, the main truthers was uh, actually a robot. <laughs> it was actually a robot. And the description of the person is a male, a very fit male. Boy, that sure <laughs> sure fits uh, Ishmael Perez. And the way he answers questions, like pop, 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 he almost sounds like a machine. But he would be certainly a machine from the future because it's super advanced from another planet. At least he says he's from another planet anyway. So. Anyway, I'll turn, turn the phone this way and see if it makes a difference. 
It's about, I'd say it's 50 to 60 mile an hour winds at least. Charlie, I forgot cheese. Goopy, goopy. Well, anyway, another day, another chance to try to get it right. I know God will fix everything. He always has. It will absolutely be part of the past and the near future. And I'll look back and go, wow, how did he do that? I've had a death experience where she went up into the heavenly realm and a little fairy type gnome kind of guy pooped her on the nose and said, it's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. It's what you do about it. That's the key to your life. Lean thing, obviously made a big ass mistake. I'm trying to handle it well, but I have to admit I'm not handling it. I'm not handling it very well, but at least I know I'm not handling it very well. And from now on, I think I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut about it. Since I've canceled everything about it, I'm gonna leave it there. And this I'm doing here is for teaching purposes so I believe it's already automatically covered okay and if you watch these you're getting a put under the blood dome from protection at least twice a day by me so but you should do that yourself put yourself under that blood dome of protection it's God's wings and psalms you're under his wings, but it's, it was described by a prophet, Neville Johnson, is the vision he saw. It was like, now those wings are actually <clears throat> a clear dome, and it's made from the blood of Jesus, which is now light, so it's a dome of light that you asked to have put over you, and it's God's wings. 10,000 fall on one side, 5,000 on the other, and you are not harmed. So that's a good exercise. No cheese, Ollie. I'm so sorry. Have a good day.